the EPA estimates that Americans spend 93% of their time indoors. That leaves 7% not indoors. Now that I think of it. This is more like it. That's a whole lot of time not spent in the elements that we've evolved in. And for the sake of not having to pull out my high school calculator, shout out Mr. Barry, and do some math on how many years that actually is, we all agree it's a lot. There is some good news. Since we spend 93% of our time indoors, there is a lot that we can control. The bad news, we're doing a pretty shitty job. Back to the good news, that only leaves room for improvement. Gotta end with optimism. The typical spaces that we find ourselves most in are our homes, our apartments, our rooms, our workspace. And even 6% in cars. That's crazy. Hope you don't have road rage. Poor natural light, chemicals everywhere, fake food, and a lack of biodiversity are just some of the factors that are hindering our daily operations. Compound all these factors and more over the typical lifespan of 80 years, and we may have a couple of problems on our hands. So it is critical to master your micro environment, that environment that you spend most of your time in, because we all know you can't control it all. So what can you change today? First off, you're gonna wanna opt for all natural cleaning supplies and self-care items, such as cleaning sprays, toothpaste, deodorant, lotions, etc. This will put you in the best position to still use the products that you like, but decrease the chances of hormonal and endocrine disruption throughout your body. Second, since we spend so much time inside, and I don't think that's gonna change, bring nature to you. Get some plants into your home, into your apartment, into your room or workspace. There are many benefits. We've evolved with plants for thousands of years. They recycle carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. They increase the biodiversity in the area. So plants are good. If you're not outside, bring them inside. Third, try to manage your light in and light out. You all know we have something called circadian rhythms. That was another video, we went through that. If not, take a look back there. The point is try to utilize natural light as much as you can in your space. It regulates a lot of biological function, including gene expression. And by using the artificial stuff, especially at night, it could throw us all out of whack. Lastly, escape. There are pros and cons to each environment we find ourselves in. So to offset some of the cons, it's good to supplement. Supplement with a new environment. Plan a bi-weekly or monthly day trip where you get the hell out and you go somewhere new. You experience a new environment and expose yourself to the new elements. Think of it as an investment. As my boy Logic says, it doesn't happen overnight, but over many nights. <laughs>